Hi, so this is the procedure I'm using to align the tailstock of my money lathe, which seems to be out quite a bit. Uh, there's a lot of problems I found with this little lathe. I've had it about a year, and you know, it's it, I'll be honest, it's a bit of a dog. Um, nothing lines up very well. You know, it could be better. I think it, there's a lot of room for improvement in a lot of the things, so I'm basically going to strip this down and start again with it. So, uh, as I say, I'm at the tailstock now, and I couldn't find any videos on how to do this properly. You know, I've been thinking about the best way to do this, to align the tailstock. And there's people who have a test indicator going around the tailstock, and they're making tools for that. But I, the problem, I think, with this little lathe is you just don't know if the thing's going to be running parallel when the quill comes out and in which will make a drill bind at the back of the drill or it's just it's just not going to be right so what I have done is I have turned a little bit of bar down to the exact same diameter as the quill diameter and if I set my indicator gauge on this that's set to zero so, if I bring that across, and then drop it onto the quill, it is 0.2 of a millimetre lower than the, than the bit of stock, which means it's 0.2 of a millimetre lower than centre. So, what I need to do is shim it up somehow from the bottom. As far as parallel goes, going in this direction, it's pretty much perfect. Yeah, it's, it's spot on. So, there's a lot of work to do. I'll keep you posted as I go along. Now, the tailstock off. And it's set together like that. So, what I've done first is uh, these surfaces here. We're all covered in paint and they're very they're very badly milled. So what I've done is just I, I've draw filled them nice and flat and used pretty good straight edge to make sure they're pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, the same on the underside. It's acceptable. The two mating surfaces. Uh, that slides along there. Now the problem I see with that is got two uh, sort of uh, jib screws there to adjust alignment. What I am going to do is I'm going to add another two. One there and one there. And maybe set up something here. Maybe a bit of plate so I can adjust this direction as well. So I can pretty much get my tail stuck in perfect alignment. That's the plan. Okay, so I've been busy and I've made two new adjusters. One here. And if I look over the lathe, one here. Which kind of lets me now adjust the tailstock. And I have also shimmed it. 0.2 of a millimetre here and the other mating surface in here of the tailstock. Now, uh, again this bar is the exact same diameter as the quill. So, and they're now joined together there if you look. And now if I bring it over to the stock material So, we're at zero. Now, if I just slide the carriage over onto the quill and move it across. So, I seem to be a little, is it high or low? 
a little high, 0 0.002, but I think that's grand. I think that's perfect for my uses anyway. Yeah. Um, it seems fairly parallel. Uh, and if you look at the sides, I've already adjusted this and, and set it. So what I've done, to, I can get the, I could get the dial test indicator in here, but you know, I've used the straight edge from here to here and adjusted it till there was zero gap, and you know that's that's perfect for what I need. You know, it's, so the tailstock is now set. Uh, it's all tightened up. So if I move it up here, just show you what I've done. So there's the new bracket. Now I could have made that out of a uh, quarter inch steel instead of what is that? Is that eighth? But that's all I had lying around, you know. Uh, and then on the other side, I also drilled, drilled and tapped. Come on, focus. These two holes here. To complement the two that came from the factory here, so now I have adjustment in every direction on the tailstock. Uh, I also took this out, the, the screw, uh, greased everything up, made everything work nice. It's nice and smooth. Quite happy with the day's work and the results. So that's the tailstock fixed now. So next will be the carriage. That'll be the next project. So thank you.